Today on my channel, we're doing a flip through of my Bible journaling, faith planner, all the things. So I'm going through May and June, and I'm going to show you how I've decorated it for the first half of July. Stay tuned. Hi planner friends, I'm One Crafty Dolo and welcome to my channel. I haven't shown you my faith planner in a while, so what I'm going to do today is a quick flip through and then next week we're going to get back on excuse me on track with decorating and so forth. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome to subscribe and I'm just glad you're here. So thank you for spending the time with me. After Easter, this is the um, study that I'm using for quite a while and basically it has a verse in the beginning and then another verse here it has so much room for writing and then you start for a new week so basically what I've done it, initially I was um, writing in here now I'm not I'm taking each verse and then writing it in my planner and then kind of extrapolating thoughts and prayers and all that kind of stuff from it. Good stuff. So this is from Shannon Roberts. I think I got it on Mercari. I might have. If not, then I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's one of the two. But yeah, it was reasonable and it's 52 weeks. So and originally I had thought I was going to switch this planner out. But then I realized I, I can link the video about my six month planner check in and I realized I've only been using this since March, so six months would be uh, September. So I didn't want to do that. So for now, I'm going to leave it be. <sighs> Truthfully, what I might do at some point is redo some of this, you know, inside. But I don't know that I want to swap the actual planner itself. I'll have to see. So I moved some things around, and I just want to do a quick flip through of May, June, and I'm gonna. I haven't. I'm behind, so I have to catch up for my July. But I'm going to show you how I decorated it and what I've been doing. So let's go. So if I have something personal, as I do on this one, I cover it. But you can see here, this was a verse from James. And what I'll do is I will um, continue it on, the, like if it's too big for one area, especially with my decorating. So that was a verse, James 119, and then Psalm 145.8, right? And it's about... Um, compassion, listening to people, slow to anger, etc. Listen. So my, I extrapolated that, you know, listen with humility and gratitude. I like this, um, how this came out. These are some happy planner stickers and washi strips. And then of course my inking and stamping. And then this one is a verse from Proverbs 16, three commit to the Lord whatever you will do and he will establish your plans and for somebody who loves planning well I thought that was pretty perfect right and what I did the next voice was the next verse was so long I actually did it on a Thursday here first Corinthians 14 15 um, basically it's you know God's will and plans before ours so we need to think first about praying and asking for direction and advice before we sit down and make all these plans right this was just very simple inking. These stickers were some floral pack I had gotten from the Happy Planner eons ago. Still haven't finished it all. I, guess, I, I don't know, is it me? Am I weak? I'm overwhelmed by those mega sticker books. Then this is some very, very old washi from American Crafts. It's Amy Tangerine. And then this week was Psalm 1061. Uh, you know, you probably know this one. Uh, praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love endures forever. And then this other verse from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18, and I had to carry that over. These are, um, these elements are actually chipboard stickers from Paige Taylor Evans, Pink Paisley, I think the Bloom Always collection or something like that. And then the Washi was from Simple Story, so I really liked this one. I thought it was really cheerful, and I just did very subtle inking, as you can see, for this one. This next one, I think I'm gonna have to take some stuff out of here. This is getting too chunky. This week was Isaiah 43, two, and when I, I didn't know when I decorated this, I used deeper colors, and I think this is a really important verse about, you know, God is always with you, you pass through the waters, he'll 
rescue you from the flames, etc. So I think the decoration oddly fits the verse before I even knew it. Um, I just threw in some American crafts. I think this is Amy Tangerine Washi. So it was again mostly stamping, pretty simple. Uh, and then Psalm 18:6. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help from his temple. He heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. And so again, God saves us from the flames. I kept it short down here. Now, I don't know what happened, but instead of putting the last week, transitional week, I actually put it in June. I don't know what I did. I'd love to tell you, but I don't know. Now this, I have done, these I've done videos about decorating. So this is Genesis 28, 15. Um, God is watching over you, bringing you back to the Lord. Um, and then the next verse is 1 Timothy 2, verse 1 through 2. Right, so petition, pray incessantly, intercessions will be given. So prayers, extra prayers, and then I put in people this month, so that was for my mom. Some of these stickers are Happy Planner. Some of the washi is simply gilded. It's just kind of a hodgepodge. That's kind of what I like to do in here. In my normal planners, I try to stick mostly with one kind of brand, or this I just go wild. Uh, this week was Deuteronomy 31.8. And this is what my best friend and I, we share this verse together a lot. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you, right? And do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. So that is a very powerful verse. And again, my best friend, it's her favorite. So it's also my favorite. And then Romans 12:12, uh, 12, 12, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. I mean, this is just, and it goes on. It's wonderful about trials and how God is with us. This is a combination, as you can see, of stamping, some simply gilded washi, and the stickers are actually from a Carpe Diem sticker book, The Live Simply. Mid-June, we have John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. And then James 5, 16. And again, this one was a very soft layout. I really like kind of instead of um, here, I use these banners, but here I kind of made the ink, the banners and the stamps. And I think that's kind of a fun technique and lots of florals, as you can see. Simple, simple, but fun. Here we go towards the end of June. Peter 3, verses 3 through 4. Your beauty should not be your come from your outward adornment and basically it's to focus in on your inner self and the second verse is from two chronicles uh, 7 verse 14 um, chapter 7 verse 14 I use some simply gilded washi and then just lots of inking and stamps and again I try to use this technique a little bit here for these banner types although this one is longer very soft washes of ink I love decorating these. This, in a weird way, helps me focus on my Bible study. I know that sounds weird, but it, the creativity is really... Now this one, <laughs> I did a video on it. This was kind of a hodgepodge of some stamping, some washi, some simply gilded... No, these are uh, Carpe Diem stickers from Live Simply. Blah and my teapots. Um, and this was the first time I really got into the brown ink and I kind of liked it. And I also think these little here are nice and I'm gonna do those more. This was Ephesians 2 verse 10 and John 14, 13. Um, yeah, so I'm praying for people as you can see. Now, July, as I said, I have decorated it. I just, I don't know, July, July is just kind of a crazy month. I don't know what's going on here with this, but it's a little wonky for some reason. And so let's get to it. And I haven't done the verses yet, but I'm going to. And what I did for this, of course, I love my inking. I did some of this simple stories washi. I did very faint stamps. These three embellishments are, and these jewel embellishments are all from Dollar Tree, if you can imagine. So those are cute and great. And I decided this month I'm going to add either... Um, words or something meaningful so PTL praise the Lord is in here 
Um, I really like how this turned out. So after I get done filming this overview, I'm actually gonna write in it and do some of that. And then this one, this one is, again, Simple Stories Washi. These are some happy, happy planner floral stickers. I dug out this floral sticker packet, so I'm trying to use it up. And then of course my teapots, my stamping. I didn't ink this week, um, which as you can see, I'm always inking, right? Why didn't I ink this week? I don't know. I just, a little bit of a change. I really wanted to hone in on these. And then of course, one of my favorites, Jesus and tea, hot tea. And so that takes us to today. And again, I am behind. I will get caught up. And starting next week again, I will be doing my Faith Plan With Me videos. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of the overview from June. I show you how I decorated it for July and what I'm doing in here. I really love how this is turning out. I'm really happy with the way it looks. I may take some of the months I've used already out, although I do go back through them, so I'm not sure about that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how I missed this one, but hey, things happen, right? So anyway, this was just a flip through. I just wanted to show you a little bit from behind the scenes here and what I write. I don't always do that. I'll decorate it. Um, and if you want, I can show you um, the next one I do. I can do the decoration and I can even do the writing in if you'd like. So that's my flip through. I hope that you're all having a wonderful July and I look forward to sharing my decorating process in here with you again. I don't even know why I, I didn't. I just think I just got busy. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you have a really blessed week, friends. Thanks for spending time with me. I appreciate every one of you. Have a great day. Bye, friends.